there's a bit of a problem with the uploaded file type of about half of the files in this class. I realize this is a bit confusing, but there's a reason for me asking you to go do this. What you need to do is go check your folder and see if you have uploaded um, a file in Word or some other format rather than using a Google document. If you're not using a Google document, then other people can't edit your, your stuff. So I'll create an example folder. Let's say this is my ID number. Let's see, I go look in my file, in my folder here. None of this is a Google document. That's a problem. So this is where the homework should be. But this is a Word document. If I double click on this, leaving aside the fact that the wrong stuff is in there, I can't edit this. I can't make comments on it. It doesn't work at all. I would have to download it, make some changes, upload it again, and put it back in the same place, make sure I got the permissions right, etc. Meanwhile, another person might be reviewing the same homework, downloading it, editing it, uploading it. We'd have conflicting files. It's a mess. And then if the person doesn't have Microsoft Office, then they can't read it at all. Now, if this ends in .pages, it's an especially terrible situation because Apple makes this Pages uh, word processor software. Nothing else in the world except Apple machines can read this. They're, it's very hard to find converters for it. Uh, yeah, and it's just a really frustrating situation. It's very difficult to get anything done with that Pages software. So, uh, if it does, if it says .doc or .docx or .pages or anything, if it's not a Google document, please make a Google document. New Google Docs. This is what you need. The blue icon, doc, not sheets, not slides. Google Docs. You should do this when you're inside your folder here so that it is created in the folder. Yeah, that's fine that it has the same sharing permissions. We want everybody else to see this, so that's good. So you open this new window, and there's your document. I need to put the information in there that was in here. And copying it from here doesn't work very well. So the best thing to do is actually go here and then go back to my hard drive where that's where my original document that I uploaded is saved. So here's my hard drive. Here's my original document on my hard drive. So when I double click this on my hard drive, Microsoft Word pops up and shows me this. Now, I'm just gonna click here and do Control A, which is select all, select everything. Um, I'm gonna copy this. Go back here to my Google document that I created, click in it, paste. I could just do Control V, easier. Wait a few seconds, see what happens. Now, probably the graphs didn't paste. I don't know why Google and Microsoft don't play perfectly well with each other. So, complaints by category. There we go. That didn't paste, and I've got this thing unable to create some images. Don't worry, it'll happen. Click on that, delete the little placeholder that's not working. Go back. To my Word document, open my computer, find that graph. Here's the graph. Click it, uh, copy it. Just try again, but just with the graph this time. Paste it in there. Beautiful. And then up here, this one didn't paste. Number of shots by centers in the NBA so far. I probably wanted a, a line break there. Uh, so let me go back to my document here, find my number of shots by NBA centers business. Scroll up here. There we go. Let's copy this thing. Oops, not there, there. I don't want to paste it in the middle of a word. That's kind of frustrating. Paste. Beautiful. Maybe I don't want it so big. Maybe I want to be like, that. There we go. So it's now pasted. I've got everything in there. This other people can edit. It's a Google document. Anybody in any operating system can edit it as long as you're using a decent browser. By the way, Mac people again, um, Safari crashes from time to time. So if you're having a hard time with anything involving Google documents and you're using Safari or an old version of Firefox or Internet Explorer, first thing to do is maybe download Chrome or an updated Internet Explorer or Firefox and try accessing Google Documents with Google Drive with that. I'm gonna close this, go back to my, my folder here, my folder that's my ID number. Now I have this new thing here that says Untitled Document. We don't want it to be called Untitled Document, so let's name everything consistently. The beginning of every single file should be similar, and I finally decided on a format that works. So here we go, rename. I right-click that 
rename. So everything should start with my ID number, F, and then a dash, and then the module, or uh, yeah, module A, B, and then a dash, homework. So your ID number, the module, and then the thing you're doing for that module. Because we might end up putting more things in these folders since it was such a pain to create them. So let's just go with this. Click OK. So just be consistent here. And now all the rest of the stuff. First of all, I'm getting rid of this. I'm just going to delete this sucker. That's just going to confuse people. They'll try and review it. They won't be able to. So let's name everything else consistently. So F module A B homework. Now I'm gonna copy that so I don't have to type that so many times. And then I'm gonna then you can add some descriptive thing after that. So I'm gonna say what was this word? Categorical data. You can have a long name, that's okay. Google is smart. Let's name this one. I'm just going to paste that whole thing I copied from the last time. Uh, numerical data. So this is my SPSS data file that I've uploaded. And then I'm going to rename this one. There we go. Numerical output from SPSS. So this. Most important thing, more important than the renaming, is get rid of those Microsoft Word documents, get rid of Apple Pages documents, or anything else that's not a Google document. The reason we use Google documents is because everybody can access them. Paste all your stuff into this Google document, get rid of the other formats, and that's it.